Spirits is there anybody there? Can you hear me? Are you there spirits? Spirits is there anybody there? Calling all spirits. Can you hear us? Answer us spirits. Calling all spirits. Answer us. We seek your wisdom. In the year 2200, humanity had formed colonies in distant areas. Contact with aliens was well established, and generally people led a good life. War was rare, and science and exploration had taken its place. The Science Corps had a fleet of science ships that spread out across the galaxy, and medical ships often provided medical care to distant colonies. On a distant colony far from Earth, people led a good life. Technology provided for most of their needs, but they still dressed and lived in a primitive fashion, growing their own fruits and vegetables. For this religious sect, life could not have been better. But it is said that all good things must come to an end.
Get away from me demons. Stay back. Now just calm down, put down the knife. I am warning you stay back. That makes four. We need help from the outside. Josie use your father's transmitter. Father will be angry. Isn't there another way? I wish there was. Even I believe that some of the others are possessed of the devil. We are prepared to deal with Hosea. Now please call for help. Okay but I don't know if even spacemen can handle this problem. Thanks for coming Captain Haynes. There is some kind of situation on planet Alger 2 that we want you to investigate. The claims are that there have been demon possessions there. Admiral is this some kind of joke? Demon possessions. It is not a joke, Captain. A few deaths have been recorded. Something is happening there. A medical ship, the Clara Barton, will be running a few hours behind you but they will get there. This is a joint mission. The Barton will be picking up a young patient for transport to our main medical facilities and then will go to the planet. What are we expecting when we get there? Honestly we don't know, but Fleet Command has been spooked to the point where they will send military if you request it. Can you give me a breakdown of the planet? It was colonized 10 years ago by a religious sect under the Homestead Act. Estimated population 200,000. They are somewhat strict and few ever drink. Your contact person will be a man named Hosea Hill. Is this standard contained protocol with civilian clothes and limited contact? Quite the opposite. Full uniforms are required while on duty. Off duty your people are encouraged to wear civilian clothes and socialize freely. We want these people to feel comfortable. We are sending a Christian pastor with you as a go-between. Excuse me, a Christian pastor? Isn't that going a little far? No Commander Davis. You will need him. These are religious people and you will need his help. There is one more thing, a scientist who is known to be on the planet. Joe Nack was criticized by his peers for his experiments in extra-dimensional travel. Did he violate the law? Did he stow away? No, he paid his way. Joe is thought of as eccentric but law-abiding. He is believed to be living separately with a mostly female team of researchers, young women from different universities. If you believe his research may be causing a problem then proceed as you see fit. That is all. Captain's log we are on Sirius 3 to pick up a special passenger. 12-year-old Mary Simmons has a rare synaptic brain disease that so far has resisted treatment. We will take her to Lyra 5 where there are some of the best known medical facilities. Thank you Captain for taking our daughter to the medical facilities. The doctors here have tried everything. If something should happen then bring her back. <laughs> we will do everything we can. I know it is a difficult time. I know you will. Thank you for what you are doing. Nurse inject 4 cc's type 3 atropine derivative. It has been tried you know. We believe it is a DNA flaw. I know but we have to try. She is relatively stable but we have to get her to Lyra 5. Am I going to be okay? Can you help me? We are going to take you to the best place for treatment. You'll be fine.
Captain we have incoming. Burns, blast injuries, and more. It is bad. Contact the White Nova and tell them we will be delayed. Captain we need to take this patient with us. She has serious shrapnel injuries and will have to be taken to the main facilities. Can we put these two patients in stasis? We can but it will be an extra stress on both of them. We may be a while. Put both of them in stasis. Let me know as soon as you are finished with the triage. Entering standard orbit Captain, Alger 2. Very well, commence scanning of surface. Captain, there is an alien spacecraft headed out from the planet. I am getting a message. It reads stay away. Plague planet. Danger. What is their heading? Can you get anything else from them? No Captain, all they say is the same message. They are leaving quickly. Shall we pursue? No, maintain standard orbit. We will form a landing party. I had to see it to believe it. Fresh air, farm animals, gardens. I might just settle down here. Welcome space people. Are you the captain? No we are a science team from the White Nova. And you are? I am George. Hosea will get with you shortly. Won't you come in? Okay. Everyone else, fan out, look around if that is okay. Of course. You are welcome. I heard that you had some debts. One man went crazy and threatened others with a knife. Yes we have him in restraints. The others were shot and killed, but he was only stunned. I would like to meet him if that is alright. Yes. I think I hear Hosea now. We will speak with him first. You wicked girl. Did you use my transmitter to summon these space people? Yes father. Under the circumstances it was necessary. Hosea, the council wanted it too. Don't blame Josie. Blame us. Okay George. Please forgive my acrimony. We will go to the prisoner now. Hey come up here. I found something odd. What is it? It looks familiar. Yes it does but it has been so long. It looks like a religious icon or something. Wait here. I will go ask these people. Someone must know what it is. Hey could you come up with me into the loft in the barn? We found something there. This is very bad. It is called a Ouija board. It is of the devil. Of the devil? It is just a piece of cardboard. You can be possessed of the devil if you use it. We are in danger. I will ask the elders how to dispose of it. I will research this in the ship's database. Do that. I will keep looking around. I don't think this had anything to do with the incident we are investigating. Dr. Kane, this man is from space. 
he is trying to help. What have you found? It appears to be a psychosis, may be caused by a chemical. Where is your equipment? You must have more than this. No I don't. We have a few doctors like myself but nothing organized. Our medical ship is due soon. They can do some scans on him. Do you think he is demon possessed? No George, but we will have to wait for an actual diagnosis. Where was he when he had his psychotic episode? What was he doing? He was painting the end of the barn that you saw. George, come with me. I think we can solve this mystery. This paint is forbidden for humans. Where did you get it? We have various traders who visit. Why is it illegal? It is a neurotoxic paint. It can cause psychosis in us and that is why it is illegal. Can he be helped? We don't have the facilities. Yes we will wait for the medical ship to arrive and they can treat him. Are you ready to go to the surface Pastor Williams? Thank you Captain yes I am eager to meet with these people. I understand that this is your first tour. Yes Captain it has only been a few months since school. I never expected to be doing something like this. Excuse me Captain, the Clara Barton has just arrived and has entered orbit. Very well. Please direct them to the patient who was psychotic. Well Pastor, I am going to have you transported down so you can get to work. You will meet a man named Hosea. Thank you Captain, I am looking forward to it. I think I will visit that patient first. How is he doing? Shall we pray for him? We are getting him ready for transport to our ship. Won't you come up with us? Thank you I will. Then we will pray for him. Chemically induced psychosis, minor synaptic damage. Nurse 6 cc's antipsychosis drug number 8. Then regenerate. Almighty God we pray for the recovery of this man. Heal his mind, we pray. Who are you people? Where am I? You are on board the hospital ship Clara Barton. You suffered a psychotic episode that was chemically induced. We are returning you to your planet. You are on bed rest for 24 hours. You are a wonderful doctor. Thank you. We are going to land. There may be other patients. Have your staff ready to go. Earth people we need some help. There is a demon possessed boy near the main square. Okay we will come there. Don't be afraid. Stay back. I am Beelzebub. I will destroy you. Isn't he cute? This is as good as some of the pranks I pulled when I was his age. Yes he is a real cute kid. I like him. What is wrong with you people? He has a demon in him. Excuse me ma'am he is wearing a high tech makeup kit. He is just a boy playing a prank. Stay back I tell you, stay back. Uh oh hello dad. What are you doing boy? You get on back home. He has been using a holographic demon disguise to scare people. He is so cute. We think he also scared some girls with a Ouija board that we found in the barn. A Ouija board? You were using a Ouija board? I was just having some fun. It was all innocent. I just wanted to scare those girls. 
I am going to tan your hide boy. You know those things are forbidden. Maybe you could just ground him. I think he is kind of cute. Don't try to come here in a spaceship and tell me how to raise my boy. I am going to tan his hide. I have called everyone here to discuss the situation. We have had two incidents which have turned out to be nothing. Could this be mass hysteria? No, I don't think so. There does not seem to be a centralized social structure which would be necessary for that. Would it be a fair assessment that they are withholding information from us? Possibly. That alien spacecraft you mentioned did not flee for no reason. Sciences Chief? What action do you recommend? They have some maintenance issues and certainly minor medical ones. Maybe working with them we can get a better idea of what is happening here. We will open up the Barton for a clinic so they can come and go freely. Maybe we will hear something that way. Also I want that scientist's lab located, I want to have a talk with him. Come in. My sister. I think she is possessed of the devil. Okay we will take a look. Oh no. This cannot be. Taking readings. She is really floating. I cannot explain it. Look, there, on the wall. Okay, I don't know what is going on here, but... Space people Space leave, people leave while, you, while still you still can. Abandon, Abandon all, hope all hope if you stay. If you stay. Call for the pastor. This is beyond us. Who are you? What are you? I demand that you tell me by the blood of Christ. You are Come out demon. I demand it. Come out of her now. Let's get her to the ship. Captain, we have done brain scans on her. There is more than one brain pattern here. How is that possible? I don't know. I am running every conceivable test. We watched her levitating and we saw the letters appear on the wall demanding that we leave. I believe that a separate entity has taken her over. Keep her sedated. We know now that this is not a simple case of hysteria. What the... That should not be possible. I gave her double the normal amount of sedative. The nurse. Look at her. Weapons on stun. If she does not stop we will stun her. Then what? Take her to the ship? The other ship did not have any luck there. The door will be sealed. She won't be able to leave. We will be in orbit anyway. Here she comes. Stop right there. We are from Earth. You are being taken into custody. Open fire. 
stun her. Scanning. Computer, is there an alien entity present? Affirmative. An alien entity has taken over the body of the unidentified female present. What is the nature of the alien entity inhabiting her body? Entity is, is a state between matter and energy. It appears to be interdimensional in its nature. Computer, using available data, can you devise a defense? Affirmative, a standard energy dampening field will disrupt the being and allow us to place it in containment field. Initiate field and place entity in containment when it flees. What are we looking at here? It is an alien entity. Its appearance may be different in its own realm. I am Captain Bill Haynes of the Earth vessel White Nova. Can you understand me? I know who you are human, I am a demon. You are no demon to us. You are a strange life form that we are trying to understand. Let me out of here human, you can't hold me. I can hold you for quite a while. We can make a deal though. Some information from you and you are on your way back to your dimension. What do you want to know? How many of you are on this planet and what is your intent? We are Legion and we will take over this planet and then the galaxy. How did you get here? One of your people opened the door and let us through. I grow weary of you. I will now send you back. You should tell your people not to come here. Computer, initiate trans-dimensional field and return the entity. Who are you people? I thank you. I am Captain Bill Haynes of the Earth science ship White Nova. We will transfer you for medical examination to our other ship and they will take you home. Today we have a special guest. Pastor John Williams flew in with the space people and is here to aid with our spiritual matters. Welcome Pastor Williams. Thank you Pastor. I look forward to doing a guest sermon here. Everyone, greetings from Earth and the Science Corps. Now before we start we will play music and pray. I curse your God and I despise him. The Dark Realms will win. Your Jesus is a failure. He looks possessed. I have seen this before. Come out demon. I demand it by the blood of Christ. Come out I say. You are pathetic. I am going nowhere. Your faith is nothing. Your God cannot stop us. Your technology cannot stop us. We will take you over. There is nothing you can do to stop us. Abandon hope.
The gates of God have been opened. You will not survive. Your master is helpless against us. We are looking. Give up all hope, heroes. You don't know what you are dealing with. Your technology is exceedingly primitive. You will fall to the forces of hell. Surrender, humans. Present a surrender demand to you. Your ship is primitive. Your military is helpless. You will all die.
I demand that you leave his body. I demand it by the blood of Christ. Who are you preacher? Your faith is strong. I drive you out in the name of Christ. Leave his body and return to your demonic realm. This is not over between you and my preacher. You will all die in searing pain. We are here today to discuss strategy. There no longer is any question of some type of alien attack here. Alien attack? What about a pathogen? Don't you think it could be that? Captain Carnes, we have seen levitation twice and other manifestations. No known pathogen can cause these. We had an energy being trapped. Maybe they are a form of pathogen but I doubt it. We are going to need more medical help here the way things are going. We can only do so much. Their facilities are limited. Sally I understand you have a report for us. Yes. We have noticed an anomaly out in space. It could mean trouble. The preliminary indication is that it is a dimensional rift. Is it a danger to the ships or planet? I need a team. We will pay the scientist a visit. I want to speak with him personally. Do you really think that he is responsible? That is all we have to go on right now. Assemble a team. I am going to request military help. That is the other thing. We got a communication from the Admiral. He has dispatched ships whether we want them or not. Very well. They can help keep the peace. Assemble a team. I am going to pay our scientist friend a visit. Hey wake up. The new shift starts in a half hour. How is everything going? Pretty good from what I understand. The professor is talking with two of the dimensional creatures now. This is really exciting. We are dealing with beings from another dimension. I would not miss it for anything. We'll be there. I am a little nervous about all this. The professor is moving too fast. That's all the better for us. He is our meal ticket. We don't need a meal ticket with all this technology. It feeds and clothes us. You know what I mean. We will live good and have our names up in lights. Professor Back, what is the status of the rift? We want to fully come through to benefit your people. Yes, the sooner, yes, the sooner you can, you fully, can fully open the, the rift, rift, the sooner that your, that your people, people will benefit, benefit from, from all we from can, all give, can you. give you. I figure one more day and we can have the rift fully open and your people and mine will be able to go between the two universes. Excellently done professor. Just beware there is a ship's captain who may not care much for what you are doing. I will find a way to convince him that this is for the best. It has been a pleasure working for you, Professor Matt. May our peoples be united in peace and prosperity.
girls get inside. I don't like this. There are snakes everywhere. But dad the snakes here have never hurt us, even the ones we brought from earth. Do as I say. We may be in danger. The snakes are massing.
I did it! Stop! Please. No. No! No! I did it! How many dead do we have from the snake attacks? At least 20 died and we had many more injured. Their venom was much stronger than normal and according to what I was told, snakes never attack on this planet. I am going to drop in on our friend in about an hour. Hello Captain I am Ensign Gleason. I will be your new yeoman on the rampage. Why are we taking the shuttle? Can't we just beam up? No I am afraid that the rampage has not yet arrived. This way to the shuttle. It is a brand new ship. Why is it not ready? I don't know the answer to that question. I am taking you to meet with Commodore Hargrove for a briefing. Welcome Captain Gott. I wanted to give you a mission briefing before you leave. A briefing? I was told the ship is not ready. It will be soon. Just some finishing touches. Your objective is Planet Alger 2. There is a laboratory on the far side which must be destroyed. You will be accompanied by ground troops and transports. Just to blow up a building? There has to be more to it than that. Yes eccentric scientist Jonak has built a large interdimensional portal. There have been reports of malevolent entities already coming through. The lab must be destroyed, and then you will destroy the portal with your guns. What kind of resistance can we expect? Apparently they can set people on fire and cause animal attacks, as well as possessing people. There are reportedly as many as two dozen college students there with Knack. You are to rescue as many as possible. Now I am confused. 
Why don't we just use the ship to blow that lab after removing the students? The professor's technology acts as a dampening field. Our guns will not work, but explosives will. Once you have blown it, then the portal can be destroyed. We expect invasion in a few days if it is not stopped. Where did you get this information? I will turn that question over to my assistant. Genie? Captain, a shuttle from Beta 2 was fleeing about the same time as the science ship White Nova arrived. They provided this information. A medical ship the Clara Barton is also there. Good luck Captain. On the surface it is hand to hand combat only. These are mainly kids Commodore. Can we expect them to fight? We have no choice. This has to be stopped. Rules governing acceptable losses do not apply here. This is war, Captain. Is Professor Knack in there? I need to talk with him. Yes he is but you do not have permission to speak with him. I don't need your permission. This is an emergency. You are not going in there, period. If he gives you any more trouble, have him taken to the ship and put into the brig. Professor Knack, I am Captain Haynes of the White Nova. Pursuant to Chapter 15, Galactic Emergency Procedures I am closing down this experiment. You have no authority here. How dare you? I have all the authority I need. I am shutting you down. Your weapons will not work here. Maybe my guard did not know this. What is going on here? Answer me. They are beautiful. They are so amazing. They will save us from the bad guys. We must invite all of them to this universe. Captain let me interrupt. There are beings like the one we had on the ship but they are different, stronger I think. I will come over. Contact the ship, we need all the help we can get. Can you understand me? You are not welcome in this universe. I want you out. Human we are taking over, you cannot stop us. We will see about that. This project will be shut down and you will be sent back. You set people on fire, attack them with animals and take over their bodies. Yes we will have fun taking you over, you are so primitive. You will find out shortly just how primitive we are. He is going to be a problem, let's show his ship how to realm. An excellent idea, I will arrange that. Commander Davis while the captain is on the surface I wanted to try an experiment. This improvised device should send one of the beings back to their universe. How does this device work? These beings are attracted to humans because of our brain compatibility. They use it to partially enter our universe. There is an interface of sorts between us and them. This device disrupts that. The being should be drawn back to their own dimension. It will not harm the host I hope. It will not harm the host or the being. 
It is like cutting one cord in a tug of war. Well find the preacher. From what I have been told he has been busy. You should not have long to wait. I have heard he is working on an issue at or near town square. I told you preacher I would be back. You see this girl, would you like me to set her on fire? Join me and I will release her. I drive you out in the name of Christ. Leave his body. Her suffering will work on your soul. You will capitulate. You will join me. I drive you out in the name of Christ. Go back to your evil realm. You will leave the body of the man immediately. I will not. I sense little in the way of faith in you. I have technology. Go back to hell where you belong. Where am I? What happened? This is a prototype device. It seems to have worked. It was the Lord who sent the demon back. Captain, the space anomaly is headed right toward us. I am engaging evasive maneuvers. Battle stations. Charge forward guns. Evasive. It is useless. The anomaly is directly ahead. Steady as she goes. I am not running anymore. All hands stand by. Entering orbit around planet Alger 2. Contact the White Nova. I want to speak with Captain Haynes. Captain the White Nova is not there. Could she have blown up? Scan for debris. I see the anomaly but no debris. Scan for the Clara Barton. Are they here? I read them on the surface. It looks like all systems are normal. Hail the Clara Barton. Ask their captain to be our guest here. Thank you for coming Captain Carnes. I was hoping you would know what happened to the White Nova. They vanished a short while ago. I suspect they may have been swallowed by the anomaly. We got a short message that they were engaging it. Thank you Captain. We are going to proceed with our mission to destroy the lab. Can you avoid hurting the college students? If they resist, they will have to be killed. Our weapons are useless while that lab is still there. We can gas the entire area, and knock them out. We will dole out aspirin for their headaches when they wake up. Okay we will gas them and throw them in the brig for now. Address all ships. Our objective here is to set explosive charges and destroy the lab, then use the ship's guns to destroy the portal. Our weapons will not function on the ground. Use hand-to-hand -hand combat measures. Good luck.
we have been set down as close to the complex as we can get because of the interference. Our objective is to plant explosives in the professor's lab and destroy it. We can expect attacks by wild animals and paranormal attacks. Some of you may burst into flames. The galaxy is depending on our stopping this. Good luck and close in on the camp.
cannot stop us. We will come through the portal and you will be conquered. Professor fight it. Evil cannot win if you don't let it. You can drive it out. We will win. You will lose. You're pathetic. Son, you must destroy my lab. You must blow it up. We are doing that. You won professor. You drove them out. Well your time here is at an end. When the charges blow, you will be sent back. You are an inferior species. We are your superiors. You will capitulate. You will surrender. Your god cannot protect you. And blah, blah blah. Go to hell where you belong. Charges set sir. We can beam up now. Let's blow them back to hell. Rampage, transport us up. Area is secured and charges set. Everyone submit your reports. Where are we? We are outside of normal space. Reports not coming in very well. The instruments are going crazy. It looks like fire is everywhere. What is the exterior temperature? I am reading 85 degrees. We will be okay if we take water. Sally prepare to execute fleet order number 101. We will vaporize this place if we need to. I will take a science officer with me and meet them on their own terms. Readings are conflicted captain, but it is a harsh, hot environment. This may be normal in this dimension. Or it may be a setup for our benefit.
I am Captain Bill Haynes of the Earth. You're bringing us here without our permission is an act of war. What do you know of war? Your species is not that good at it. Let's start from the beginning. Who are you and why did you bring us here? I am a level 5 demon and you are in hell. Can't you understand that? Science officer, readings please. What is it? I am not reading any life form, though my scanner is not operating very well. It could be a projection or even telepathy. You humans have big mouths. You are on our turf now. So when do I get to talk to the big cheese? Don't mock Satan, human. He will only make it worse for you. It is you who I am mocking. Let's go back to the ship. This is getting us nowhere. Captain the controls are frozen. We cannot do anything. To that human you will be stuck here forever. Welcome to hell. Can we still set off the quantum blast? I believe so. When do you want to do it? Not yet. The truth is, they want something from us or they would not have brought us here. No Captain Haynes, you will not stay here. You will leave immediately. Uh, excuse me. Our controls are frozen. I don't know who you are, or even if you can hear me. Captain, the controls are operational. Portal dead ahead. What is the executive officer's opinion? We have been shown the door. I think we had best go through it. Helm ahead one third. We are headed out. All troops accounted for. The college students are on board. Closing on anomaly. Battle stations. Charge guns. Lock on target. What about the White Nova? Shouldn't we wait? The White Nova is a casualty of war. We have to obey orders. We are in firing range, sir. Open fire. Blow it to bits. Yeoman Gleason, take down the following. The experimental station on Alger 2 and the extradimensional portal have been destroyed. Three casualties occurred during the attack. Professor Knack is dead. All college students have been rescued. We regret the loss with all hands of the science vessel White Nova. We believe her to be missing in action. I cannot believe they are gone. They were so brave. Also put down that we have negotiated with the people on the planet and they have agreed to take in the college students. This case is closed and we will proceed to our next assignment shortly. Hello Captain Carnes. I am here to help your two passengers. Who are you? How did you get on my ship? How do you know about the two that we have in stasis? If your faith was not so weak, you would know who I am. First the woman. Don't interfere with him. If he can do that then he can do just about anything. Do you know who I am woman? I am so weak. I hardly can even see. I know you are a good man. You are healed. Return to your planet and go in peace. She is all healed. I don't believe it. All readings normal. No signs of injury. Hello child. 
Do you know who I am? Now listen here she is a child. Don't hurt her. What's going on? Type 3 synaptic brain disease. DNA being repaired. I know who you are. Thank you. Dr. Jones, feel free to do all the tests you want. The disease is gone from the girl. The father is disappointed at the slow advance of your technology. You will find 50 new cures for illnesses such as this in your database. Replay the information on the intruder. I hope we got him on video. Captain, he did not show on audio or video but we all saw and heard him. I want to see the ship. I want a tour and I am hungry. We are going to need to replenish supplies after all the injuries we have treated. I was thinking we could stop at Janus 3 on our way back to Sirius. We can do that, though we will be taxing the patience of our passengers. All of us have been charmed by the young girl. She is a live wire, always happy. Am I interrupting something? I can come back later. Captain. We thought you were dead. Have a seat. We have some things to talk about. You might say we have been to hell and back, complete with tormented souls. We are headed back to Sirius. Our two passengers were healed by a mysterious stranger. Well, we need to be going. There was one more thing to do. Sally Davis and I attended a fire and brimstone sermon by the colony's new preacher. I did not ask why Pastor Williams wanted to stay behind, but I suspect he had his reasons. Albert Einstein said once science without religion is lame, and religion without science is blind. There is wisdom in that, but sometimes the distance between them can be greater than the distance between galaxies, or as close as two pebbles on the beach. Thank you.